All right, guys, so I'm gonna make a quick video showing off 4K on Street Fighter V Champion Edition. I'm gonna press the enter button in three, two, one. Press enter, usually this game on like executable, it takes a while. As you can see that middle little picture, that's like the loading screen, like executing. Um, Tekken 7 has that screen. As you can see, we are in game right now. Desktop set to 1080p. So let's keep that in mind. This right now is loading stuff in the background. Like there's an online login that it's doing right now. So we've got this little thing. Obviously you cannot play online. Real quick, we're gonna show you options. We're gonna go to graphic settings. We have 4K and we're on max picture quality settings on this. So real quick, let's go into a game. Um, do arcade real quick. The champion edition on this has a lot of players, like a lot of fighters. I had regular Street Fighter V, and this version is like insane. Got a lot of fighters. So right now with this, you only have this amount because this is how Street Fighter like one and two, those are the fighters you can pick. So we're gonna pick Ryu obviously on this. Let's just see how 4K plays out on this. Look at how the players bounce. On like the laptop, this like it would be like a slow motion bounce. Again, 4K right now on this max setting. Okay, oh, we got that in connection. Good. So not too bad, not much stutter, not much lag. The big thing though is that this game is really meant to be played in 1080p. So I'm gonna show you what 1080p looks like. But let me finish this fight real quick. There's a super. Oh, he blocked it. He's like in a crouch position. <laughs> A little bit of a slam. Yes, I am a wall spammer. <laughs> Control, I did it. So not too bad. Again, 4K on this. Very smooth. I do see like when the fight logo comes on, it does slow down a little bit. But I think that's a given. If you see how this game plays in 1080p, it's pretty outrageous. Now we'll do the same game. I'm gonna load the graphics settings to 1080p on this, and we're still on max. So let's do it one more time. Just want to make this video to see if the display settings on the desktop if it changes performance only because i do notice that in 4k it's taking up a lot of ram All right, not too bad to be honest. I am seeing zero kind of lag on this. There wasn't much lag on the 4K. A little bit of a minor stutter. I definitely saw that before, but this right now is pretty amazing. Some 
Mm -hmm. I do again. So as you can see, there was not much stutter. On the 4K, yes, there was a little bit in the middle of the match, just a tiny, tiny bit. But this right now, again, this is exactly how the bar top will play. It is in 1080p. Um, so pretty surprised by it. Again, still character balancing and all that. Again, this is max settings. You could probably tone down like the shadows if those are pointless graphic settings. Um, but this right now on 1080p is phenomenal. This is intense stuff. Look at this. And again, there's a lot of fighters on um, on this version of Street Fighter. Can I slam this guy? Wow, okay. <laughs> I thought they were going to shoot this like a whole version on Marvel vs. Capcom where... Oh shit, okay. This game is much better on the analog stick, so the arcade stick should be very good with this. The D-pad on this is awful. For you to get Hadoukens pulled off and everything. Again, really smooth. I mean, this again is 1080p display on the Windows desktop was set to 1080p on this, so very good. Especially when you throw like a super, like can. Still don't know the button combination to it, that'd be great, but... I literally don't know the button combination to do it. Beautiful. I don't know how I did it, but I did. Good ending. You win. Just want to make this video to see if the display settings on the desktop, if it changes performance, only because I do notice that in 4K, it's taking up a lot of RAM. saw that before but this right now is pretty amazing I guess real quick before I run out of battery we'll load up the Wii U uh, I've obtained a lot of new Wii U ROMs so let's run this real quick there's no graphic settings on this um, it just kind of recognizes Super it. Mario 3D World. Yeah. So again, using the Xbox controller. Oh, yeah. Mario time. It recognizes it as a uh, Wii U Pro controller. That's how I have it set. I could set it up to the gamepad, but I just figured it's easier with the Wii U controller. And I'll always make a video later on with the Wii U. As you can see right now, it's compiling some shaders. Basically makes it run a little bit faster when you reload it. Um, yeah, there's no graphic settings on this, so you can't do 1080. My camera literally died. But we're back. So now this had the option to do Vulcan, which would recognize the GTX um, 1660, but I left it on OpenGL only because Vulcan is experimental, so it may or may not work, so I figure why not. So as you can see, and I have this set actually for the Xbox button, so it's A, B, X, Y, whereas really the Wii controller is A, B, X, Y, like a Super Nintendo controller. But as you can see right now, I'm 
one of these will have the, the cat thing. Again, not too bad. Definitely playable. Oh, wow. Just ran right into him. So as you can see in the bottom left, there is a thing that says compiling. So it's basically taking like a bunch of shaders. So this is the first time I loaded it. Basically as you progress, it won't do as many shaders as it's already been compiled. But definitely this is playable. Like you can't tell me this is not playable. Okay guys, last one I finish up real quick because I got some progress. We right now have the Nintendo Switch emulator and real quick, I'm gonna try Luigi's Mansion 3. But as you can see here, the emulator is stating that it's bad. I'm gonna launch this. And I actually tried this on my Dell Optiplex and um, I didn't get far. Let's just see how Eugene's computer treats it. I'm gonna put it in full screen mode. And again, this is like what's just wild about emulation. I'm, I, I'm dying to play this game actually, can't lie. <laughs> so let's see how it turns out. I posted this on my Instagram and that's actually what blew up. Um, a lot of people messaged me in shock, but again, like I said, the emulation is labeled as bad. So again, as time comes, I do have it set. So this will happen, it's gonna ask for the user. So you will need like, you know, your mouse and keyboard handy. And that's maybe when this dies out. I actually didn't pick on a user. Let me retry that real quick. I just press enter, I didn't actually pick a user. So maybe it just kind of froze up. Again, right now, before you go even into hyperspin, like I said before, you gotta test the game itself in the emulator. If the game doesn't launch in the emulator, it won't launch in hyperspin. So let's just see right now. Again, this is literally like the first game I loaded up. Um, I'm trying to look into Animal Crossing and I am trying to look into uh, Super Mario Odyssey, but again, emulation still is not perfect on the Nintendo Switch. So we're gonna try it again. Let me make sure that I actually click on user. Let's press okay. So we got farther. This is gonna be mind blowing. Oops. Again, using the Xbox controller right now, I mapped out the controls. This is gonna be bonkers right now. <laughs> it might be a proven fact as I mean I didn't read the compatibility as to why this game is labeled bad but right now let's see how Eugene's computer is playing it uh, Eugene also hooked it up gave us two more 8 gig uh, 2 times 8 gigs of RAM so now we have 32 gigs of RAM on this look at this so now same thing with this Nintendo Switch there was no immu there's no um resolution option so let's just see i mean i am in 
full screen mode. This is the thing I learned about the PlayStation 3 though, is that the cutscenes look good, but then when it comes to actual gameplay, it might be a nightmare. Um, so right now, as you can see, we are dealing with maybe why this is bad. If I bring down the full screen, let's just see what happens if we bring down the, like we don't do a full screen. Aww. I'm gonna real quick pause the video only because I'm running out of, oh no, I have space, I have time. I'll probably cut the video in post. As this loads, I'm just gonna see why this compatibility is not, is labeled as bad. So I mean, there is like internal resolution. I did it as auto. Oh, that's for the window size. Yeah, oh, yeah. So. Come on. Let's leave that be. Right now, I don't know if it's me being minimized and it's not full screen. But that really doesn't really matter, honestly, with the full screen. Let's just see real quick. Luigi's Mansion 3. Back. So this is labeled as game functions, but with major graphical or audio glitches, which we are experiencing. Unable to progress, progress, unable to progress in specific areas due to glitches, even with workarounds. So again, I'm off the GitHub on this. As you can see right now, we do have an audio thing and whether it's maximized or minimized, And it's pretty cool because it actually shows on the list what people have done. So somebody running an i3 um, processor, uh, GeForce 1030, somebody running an i5. Ooh, let's see this. I don't know what that means. Somebody running an i5 1060 labeled it as green. Um, that was last week. Interesting. Again, like I said, that's what's pretty cool. There's literally an app and I'll put it down below uh, when we actually get to the specific emulators um, videos. So right now, as you can see, we are witnessing the audio glitch. <laughs> oh yeah. Again, this PC is overclocked, 32 gigs of RAM right now. Again, GTX 1060, 1660 Ti on this. So again, as you can see, you could have a beast of a computer. It's all about the emulation. That's the thing that some people need to understand. Having this computer though, compared to my Dell Optiplex, I did try to play this and it wouldn't. So let's just see right now, it looks like it's saving. There is audio in the background. Let's just see how far we could get. Take it out of full screen mode. And nope, looks like we are at a standstill. Let's see. I'm reading here like the speed. We're at zero frames per second. Right now it's saving. Maybe it's just doing a saving thing. It might be trying to locate a drive to save it to maybe. Then we are having our numbers here so the, the computer didn't crash or freeze. It's just our emulator right now is kind of at a standstill. Go with that go. Let's see, like I said, there is a, a couple of games I have here. As you can see, there are some games labeled great, um, not perfect, not tested, 
Um, I did want to definitely try Super Mario Odyssey if I could locate that, which I'll probably run now. But right now, I mean, we got kind of far. It's right now saving. Um, but again, I'm looking at the speed here, which isn't even a real speed number. I mean, look at that number. Can you guys see that? <laughs> it's 6,000% out of 100%. So that must be a good sign. This computer is on beast mode right now doing this. Let's exit the emulator. Let me try one more thing. Okay guys, so I literally just downloaded the recent update of Yuzo uh, before I was using like the early access one. And now we got some movement right now. Again, this isn't perfect. Mario looks stuck. <laughs> can I talk to Mario? But as you can see, me updating the emulator from the original one that was on the person's drive before. <laughs> it's very odd to hear Mario talk like that, but right now, this is not playable, meaning I probably wouldn't enjoy this sitting down and playing it, but we are like moving. Oh, now it looks like it's sped up a little bit. Let's see. Hi. Wow. Yeah. Nintendo cheaped out and didn't get audio for Peach. This guy is terrifying. Look at this guy. <laughs> so, I mean, Welcome, are you ready to check in? Yeah, let's check in to the scary place. Thank you. So as you can see, I literally went and did the updated version of Yuzo. And we're moving. This is actually moving full screen movement. Let me drop this real quick. We are at 30 frames a second. That's the max on the Nintendo Switch. Our speed is 100%. I mean, that's the big thing like I was saying before. We're gonna lower this. That was a big thing I was saying before about emulation is that things get updated. I mean, that's the big thing. I literally went to use those websites. So you can see here real quick. I was using this like yellow one. And now I literally just downloaded, as you can see here, I still have the old one and the new one. So this again was like an early access it was called. And now it's not perfect. I get it, but for the progress of emulation, this is outstanding, honestly. This is amazing. It's playing, I mean, it's slow. It's a little slow, I get it, but it's playing. Give it like another couple of maybe days or a week or two, depending on how they fix up the emulation. And this would be rock solid. This is the last one. And apparently there was an updated ROM on this. Let's check this one out. I did not test this. I tested it on my Dell Optiplex. It ran in slow motion. Let us see how this one runs. Yes, we are going to attempt Super Mario Odyssey. And the emulator, let me do it as connected. So Joy-Cons connected external. Super Mario! Oh. Odyssey! Now this might have taken my save state from the Dell Optiplex. Let's do full screen. So you can kind of see real quick before I even go to full screen, I kind of like it like this because it shows us our speeds and everything here. So this right now is waiting for me to do art. There we go. Yeah, it wanted me to look around. Okay. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I played this game on the actual Switch, so this is amazing. So it looks like when it's saving, let's see what happens. I'm using the right stick. So I said, this, the Switch is in such early emulation, but this is like the most common game you'll see on videos on YouTube talking about the emulation. I mean, let me get this mouse out of the way. Cutscenes, like I said, the cutscenes are good, just like the PlayStation 3 emulator, the cutscene was amazing, but once you get into actual gameplay, it was a little tough. So this time, the actual cutscene on this is much better than Luigi's Mansion. Like I said, I'm trying not to do much cutting on the video. I don't want this video to be too long, but it's something where like people have to see. People will sell you drives, they're talking about these big emulations, but the emulation itself is not even ready for it. I'm just skipping this stuff. This is like the longest intro to a game I've ever played. <laughs> but I will be buying Luigi's Mansion 3, definitely. I have my version of Mario Odyssey. I always support Nintendo, especially when it comes to Mario games. Like whenever it's trying to save, once it's done saving, there's actually a video here, it's not there. I wanted to try to try. I mean, you can see, I'm not gonna bore you guys with this, but like I said, emulation is not perfect right now. But as you can see with this game, it's almost there. Yeah, like I said, this is just like how the sound of switch was. I don't know where it wants me to go. <laughs> I should have been paying attention, but there you guys have it. The Nintendo Switch emulation on Eugene's Shinko Hadouken beast of a computer right now. It's definitely defying the laws of emulation. Very shot, very, very surprised by all the stuff on this. Okay. I mean, some people might think this is not playable. For me, it's it's playable, but not enjoyable. Um, but then again, like I said, look, I'm literally playing it. It's not that bad. And again, keep in mind, we have 32 gigs of RAM, GTX 1660 on this, i5 overclock PC, running on game boost mode. As you can see, we kind of have a flicker there, which is something that they do see. They do say that a lot in the YouTube videos. As far as this emulation, definitely the next one I want to try out is Animal Crossing, but I'm not sure how I'm going to obtain that. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. But look at this now. This is actually very clean. This I'm actually in a map. Oh. I would love to see the speed that we're running on here. So again, we're looking at our speeds here. This is hitting 60 frames a second. I thought the switch did 30. It's not like big, big kind of cutscenes and graphic intense stuff like this. You could always expect that. 
I only have about eight minutes left on this, so or else my camera's gonna run out of memory, but let me pause it and bring it back when we get to the game. So now we're back, we are now the frog. We're at 100% on the speed, we're at 60 frames a second. So now like I said, even with full screen or minimized, we're still getting the same details, the same experience. Oof. Yeah, I'm literally just gonna breeze through this, but as you can see, Super Mario Odyssey. Press ZL, there we go. I had that set to L2. That's it. Super Mario Odyssey, Nintendo Switch, Yuzo. 50p game case arcades, I always have to say it. <laughs> so real quick, just loaded up Modern Warfare because it is free. Um, trying it right now on Eugene's computer. Let's take a look real quick at the graphics setting on this. Uh, the TV, again, does do 4K. I do have my re uh, refresh rate as 120. I believe the TV does do 120. As far as graphics on this, if I just scroll down, we have everything set to high. I think there was something about extra, shadow map resolution on extra, and all that. So I usually play this on um, PlayStation, but on my PC I do play Counter Strike. So I've been dying to play this on PC, and we're gonna use basically Eugene's computer to test this out. Um, no real resolution settings I noticed. Um, I don't see anything about 4K or anything about 1080p. I mean, this is graphics right here. No, I don't have anything as far as um, graphics setting. Again, this is a free PC game, so this is not the real Modern Warfare game. Um, basically, doing some Warzone. Oh, we've deployed, but now's a good time to warm up. So not too bad. Again, I never played this on the PC, so. Objective is to kill them all. 
and Dino played the song on the PC, to be honest. Oh, this is not Counter Strike, that's <laughs> Okay, I'm so used to playing Counter Strike. This will block up here. Okay, not too bad. Shut up. No stutter. Uh, um, yeah. Again, I've never played this on the PC. NFG here. It is a little bit different when we get to actual gunfight, but. To eliminate the bounty target. Okay, I'm so used to playing on PlayStation, so, and I'm playing slanted right now. settings, but there's Modern Warfare for you.